Tracking a cold night as our cold front works its way through. We'll have showers through much of the evening, but we're dropping down to near freezing in many spots, getting down to about 30 in Brunswick. Moberly, that overnight low gets to 31, and we're dropping down to about 35 in the capital city. Tomorrow is another chilly day as we're topping out near 40 degrees. So it's going to be a big change behind this front, but clouds will start to work their way out early in the day. Here's where our front is tonight, working its way in slowly from the west, bringing those showers that will continue to work their way east overnight. This is what it looks like on the future track. So as we progress past 10 o'clock, those showers start to thin out a little bit, when, especially when they cross Highway 63. I'm not expecting much rain to be left after sunrise tomorrow, but we'll be left with some cloud cover and it's going to be breezy. The wind chill will be dropping into the upper teens to around 20 by morning. The afternoon temperature getting up to about 40 degrees. We'll have more sunshine, but it's pretty deceiving. I'm expecting an even cooler start for Saturday as we drop down into the 20s. Those wind chills getting down to that 12 to 15 degree range and it's going to be even cooler for Saturday afternoon. We're topping out in the upper 30s. Plenty of sunshine heading into Sunday, but it's looking rain free. Our rain tracker here for tonight shows the highest amounts along and west of Highway 63, where we have a little bit better energy to work with by the time the front gets farther east, starting to lose some of that energy we have with that cold front. So rain amounts anywhere from around a quarter, a quarter inch for areas east and then about a half an inch for areas west. Here's the wind chill tracker for tomorrow morning. It's going to feel like about 24 in Moberly in the morning and then in the afternoon getting into the upper 20s. By Saturday morning, feeling like around 12 to about 18 degrees to start off the day. It feels like about 18 in Fulton for the start of Saturday morning. In the afternoon, it's going to feel like the 20s and then we're cooling down again for Sunday morning. So the winter looks like it has arrived at least for the next week. As you'll see, those temperatures remain in the 40s. I'll be tracking another area of low pressure that could bring us some precipitation between Monday night and Tuesday. And we're staying cool with lows in the 20s the rest of this upcoming week.